Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Stephanie FM, and today we're taking a look at the 424 volts into undervolts, I'm assuming version three. Now, we did take a look at, this is a, the tactic, another tactic by Delicious Story. He created another one called the 433 Extreme Volts. We've taken a look at that where Tottenham came in third, Wolves in fourth, and Newcastle in sixth. Did work for all three teams. Maybe not the mo the best we've seen, but it did work. We're going to take a look at how our three teams of Newcastle, Tottenham, and Wolves did here. But in this case, there's a lot of information on the page itself. So as always, when you take a look at these tactics, no matter what you see here, take a look at the page itself. It's got a lot more information. 50 win percentage, a 28 loss percentage, 20 draw percentage, points per game is just under two. So he's got some great information of it's I hardly recommend to use mentality balanced at home and cautious on away games. You can just copy the tactic and change the mentality. He's got a discord that you can join and that you can take a, you know, talk about all these tactics that he's created. We've covered a lot and they're probably going to be covering a lot more. Uh, it does say that it's an overall five star tactic, a five star sub top and then a two star underdog. So if you're really below on the, you know, low on the totem pole, maybe not try this out. It probably won't work for you. But for the tactic itself, it is a 424 as we've seen or as we said, uh, sweeper keeper in defend, complete wing backs in attack on the left and the right, ball playing defenders set in the central spots on defend, ball winning midfielder in defend, a Segundo Volante in attack, inside forwards in support, and two advanced forwards as we generally see. It is a balanced mentality, but as he says on the profile page, change that to how you want it to, to be, especially home versus away games. In possession, attacking with the standard, approach play pass into space, overlap on the left and right, focus play down the left and right, passing direct is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses, and run at defense. And then in transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, and drop off more. But now, how did it do for our three teams? As you can see, fantastic job for Tottenham. 91 points is probably the best total we've seen from them in all of these tactic talks. 91 points, 67 goal differential, th only three losses. Absolutely incredible. Wolves, I mean, Newcastle in fourth with 78 points, a fantastic result for them. Wolves in seventh with 65, a pretty good run for them as well. Schedule-wise for Tottenham, only one loss, two losses in the first half of the season. A, th a third loss comes at the EFL Cup third round, one all in penalties. Ouch, that's a tough one against Southampton. But the second half of the season, 3-4 loss against Nottingham Forest. Nil one against West Ham. You win the FA Cup 4-1 against Chelsea. You win the Champions League final 5-1 against Barcelona. Three trophies in a season for Tottenham. Absolutely mind-boggling. Newcastle actually doesn't look too bad. Several losses. You lose out in the EFL Cup second round. Two all in penalties against Burnley. Right off the bat, a bad October though. Uh, you do continue on though. FA Cup all the way until the semifinals against Chelsea 2-3. But look at this run right here. It's absolutely insane. Wolves, definitely a lot spotter, a spottier, a lot more red than you would like to see. Uh, but they do continue on. It's a nice run in the beginning of the second half of the season. One all penalty loss in the semifinal second leg against West Ham in the FL Cup. FA Cup quarters is where you lose out against Chelsea. Two to six in extra time. How does that happen? 93, 95, 109, and 116. That's in, uh, That's just insane. What on earth happened there? Tottenham's transfers. Davidson Sanchez, the only one out for 8.75. Bringing in, they brought in Barbosa. They bring in Weston, Sutalo, and Livakovic for 8.5. So they did spend a bit of money on Sutalo right there. Newcastle, Jacob Murphy leaves for 5 million. Mark Gillespie for 1.3. They do bring in Ronnie Edwards, Gonsalves, Kennedy, and Santos. Again, spending some money there. I will never understand Wolves' transfer policy. They sell Ruben Neves to Real Madrid for 54 million, and they bring in Miguel Crespo from Fenerbahce for 8.75. Tottenham wise, with the squad, Harry Kane, 55 appearances. Son with 52 plus 1, and Christian Romero with 45 plus 3. I keep forgetting he's on the team. Goal-wise, 47 for Harry Kane. A nice job there. Son with 29 and 26 for Barbosa. Really picking it up this time around. Assist, 24 for Kulusevski. Son with 23 and Porro with 22. 
an average rating 773 for KNC. When you get up there in the goals and everything, this is where I expect Kane to be. But usually he sits, you know, 719 or 720. But 773 is amazing. Sun was 743. You'd expect that from him. He's a fantastic player. And Kulisevsky was 726. Newcastle wise, Nick Pope with, uh, with 43 appearances. Callum Wilson and Trippier both with 42 apiece. 39 goals for Isaac. A great job there. 31 for Wilson. An absolutely amazing number there. And then Fabian Schar with 12. Assist wise, 23 for Trippier. St. Maximum with 15 and 10 for Willick. Average rating 759 for Isaac. Absolutely phenomenal job. The Callum Wilson was 750 as well. 730 for Dubrovka. I mean, Newcastle did very well. I'm surprised they didn't finish a little higher. And then Wolves, Jose Saw with 48 appearances, 45 with Sarabia, and 42 plus 2 for Aitnori. Goals wise, 23 for Jimenez. Collins with 17 and Triari with 11. Assist though, Sarabia with 24. That's got to be leading the charts in the Premier League or somewhere close. Ait Nori with eight and six for Nunez. Siswise, not the greatest. Jimenez with seven, two, five. Pretty good job there. Chan, eight plus 13 appearances off the bench, seven, 19, and then Triari for seven, 14. Data hub wise, everyone is, is generally the same. Shaky in it in defense and very good in attack. As you see, some fantastic attacking numbers for Tottenham. Absolutely leading the leagues. Everything else, Premier League average, thereabouts. You've just got some fantastic numbers. Unfortunately, I mean, even Newcastle has fantastic attacking numbers. And then Wolves, a little bit different, a little bit less. The non-penalty expected goals per 90, though, is really up there, as are shots per game. So I expect all three teams to be right there at the top of some of these categories. Most goals clearly in the Premier League Tottenham with 118, Newcastle with 96, Wolves with 86. Again, Newcastle sitting in fourth still. You know, Liverpool and Manchester City are probably up there, but... How they didn't come higher than fourth, I don't know. But fewer shots against Tottenham and Newcastle are in there. Most possession, as usual. Most dribbles made, nobody. Fewest conceded, Newcastle. No defensive, no uh, goalkeeper work. Most tackles of Tottenham and Newcastle doing some defensive work. Best pass completion, no one. Most shots for, as you'd expect, Tottenham, Newcastle, and Wolves all in the mix. Most points per game, pretty close to how they sit in the league. Holland beats everyone with 51 goals this season. That's insane. But Isaac with 34, Kane with 31, Wilson with 24, Son, Jimenez, and Barbosa all in the mix as well. Uh, most of it, Trippier with 20, of course, he's up there. Sarabi with 19, Son with 18. I mean, some fantastic attacking numbers, as you'd expect here. Uh, Harry Kane with 13, player in the match awards, pretty good. Generally, it's like five, six, maybe seven. So you got a lot, long list there. Uh, most, I mean, some of these other tactic, other categories, though, absolutely nothing. But Hugo Lloris and Livakovic. Uh, no one in the most shutouts, though. Most tackles won. Nobody. Again, you got nothing in the defensive side. Most key passes, Trippier, Sarabia, as you'd expect, up there with 198 and 179. I mean, leagues above Kevin De Bruyne. That's insane. And most shots, Holland with 220, as usual. Isaac with 143. He really can put his stuff on target. 129 for Kane. Jimenez, Son, and Wilson also in the mix. So overall, a fantastic one to try out. A good 4-2-4. Uh, especially for Tottenham, it looks like you don't really need a lot of new players to come in and kind of do the work that you need to, to do. But again, check out Delicious Stories uh, content, check out his information on what to do with this tactic and how to change things up as you go into each match. And you probably could do really well. But that is it for me, Safian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.